Notice the weapons are divine. Notice the weapons are powerful. And this is most important. Notice that the weapons, do you see there at the end of the verse, they destroy strongholds. Destroy strongholds. First, the word strongholds. Uh, the word strongholds uh, actually in some translations say fortresses. And, and uh, we don't have this so much today, but back in the ancient world, they would uh, be fearful for uh, enemy hordes uh, attacking their city. So they would build these fortified cities up on a hill, behind a wall. They get in behind their wall and they're like, we're safe up here. Nobody's going to get us here. They can't get up here. They can't get through our walls. Nobody can touch us here in our stronghold. Now, it's not so much once the cannon was invented. It was like the cannon obliterates the wall. The people scatter like, Ugh. and of course now planes just fly over the fortress and drop, as we've been seeing on the news, just drop uh, the bombs on. So it's not, it's not true anymore. But if you just realize this picture was chosen when none of that existed, so it still makes sense. And here it is. You have ways of thinking walled off in your mind that are keeping you from the life that God wants you to live. And they're fortresses. They are strongholds. You've been thinking that way for a long time, and this preacher is going to have to spend all the energy he has for the next three months, every single week, storming that stronghold. And together, we're going to notice the word destroy. Because these divine weapons that we're going to be using have the power to destroy. Notice God doesn't want to trim your stronghold. Notice God doesn't want to limit the effects of your stronghold. The picture here is of a wrecking ball a swinging into a tower. God wants, some translations say demolish, uh, destroy. All in favor of destroying strongholds? So the ways that you think that are keeping you, the ways that I'm thinking that are keeping me from what God has for me, they need to be, say it, destroyed. Say it. Destroyed. The ways that we're thinking that are keeping us from what God has for us, they need to be, say it. Destroyed. They need to be destroyed. And that's why the text says, you might just reach over and underline that in your neighbor's Bible. They don't underline things when I tell them true because their thinking is always, well, I don't want to be told what to do. And, that's actually a stronghold itself. We're tearing that down too. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. So why so hard to think differently? Because my battles are not primarily physical, because my weapons are not readily accessible. Here it is, because my strongholds are not easily destroyable. If destroying strongholds was easy, trust me, everybody would be doing it. Most people, Christian or not, sail the ship as far as it can go till the strongholds sink the ship and there they stay for the rest of their life. And while there are a few people in their teens or 20s or 30s maybe that change their thinking a little bit, most people have their thinking so deeply entrenched by the time they're into their second decade of adulthood, they don't go anywhere after that. They might change jobs, they might change churches, they might change marriages. But they don't change their thinking and they're shocked to find when they come around the corner the exact same stuff still happened to me in the new scenery. Why? Because there's a lot more about your own thinking than there's a lot more about my own thinking than I was ever really willing to acknowledge. 